Hey guys, welcome back to What's Happening. So on last night, Miss Melody laid it out for us as far as what happened during that scene with Martel at the birthday party last night. Um, she tweeted, she also went live, and she was out yesterday with her family. I think she said that they were out celebrating some birthdays. But then they all decided to come back to her house to watch the show and to spend some time together. But she made it very clear that Martel was not invited. And she tweeted, she said, child, she said, I had a whole convo a week before, a day before and the day of saying you're not welcome to come. Now, she says she didn't know he was going to come to the party. She said, I made it clear to every single person there that I didn't want any drama at the party. She said she even threatened to have everyone leave and not even film it. But then, boom, here he comes with a spot for him to park. She went on to say that he came with his aunt and cousin and she tried to step in. And she said, that's when my mom said, you don't have anything to do with this to her another uninvited guest. Then he began to yell at my mother and my aunt stepped in. Shoot, pulling up with a darn team. So we saw him there, but Own didn't show him pull up with no balloons and bags filled with gifts or anything. But the funny thing that I saw on Twitter last night was that the Own Keep It Real page, I guess they thought that this was funny. They made a post showing Martell hugging the kids and said, Martell really don't give a dang. He said, call the popo. And then they inserted that laughing emoji. And I and a lot of other people, we didn't think that there was anything funny about this. There's not one thing funny about this whole situation. And if somebody gets hurt, will it be funny then? I don't think so. Now, Melody said the kids were inside the skating rink the entire time and didn't even have to know what happened, except Martel texted them talking about your mom put me out. So instead of him telling them, you know, I'm dragging your mom in and out of court trying to take you guys away from her, it's probably a good idea that maybe I'm not here. That's probably what he should have told them. And of course, you know, we still had a lot of people saying that, you know, Melody's bitter and that, oh, she should have let him stay. You know, it's about the kids, blah, blah, blah. So Melody says, I'm trying to decide if I should literally spill the gag of it all, because either way, y'all will still try to justify men's bad behavior and them showing you I'm going to do what I want to do as if they have power over you. So when Melody went live last night, you know, like I said, a lot of people kept saying like, you know, she should have allowed him to stay. But she said, don't be that person to try to tell somebody else basically what's good for them in their situation. So take a listen to what she had to say. Today has been great. I hope y'all enjoyed the show tonight. Um, literally, my little cousin had a birthday party today. It was so much fun. We actually... So we went to two places. So we went to two places for the party. Um, bold, laughed and cut up. And then we went to this jumping place where the kids jumped and stuff. Laughed and cut up. Oh. And then we got home. And so we piled up in the room. I put it on my story, my family. Um, and we watched the show. So overall, today has been bomb. Um... It has been bomb overall. Somebody said, no, I was mad watching the show. So let me say this. This is all I want to say. Um, and I'm sure <laughs> in the future, y'all will hear me talk more about certain things. And, you know, especially as I'm doing different interviews and things like that. Um, but what I want to say is, for one, for one, never be that person to try to tell someone else what they should do okay um what works for you works for you um no one has the exact same situations in life and what works for you works for you just like i wouldn't tell somebody oh well you know because i wouldn't do it i wouldn't say well you shouldn't have did that or you shouldn't do that no do what works for you do what you feel is in the best interest of you the best interest of your emotional 
uh, stability, your mental peace. Do what's best for you. It really doesn't care. It doesn't matter. And you shouldn't care what anybody else feels, right? Do what's best for you, period, period. And I think if we get out of the way of trying to tell people what we should do, what they should do, I mean, based on what we would do, what they should do based on what we would do, it would help. Everybody's different. Everybody's situation is different. And nobody ever knows all the ins and outs of things that have transpired and that are transpiring that may cause people to make the decisions they make. And that's okay. That is okay. Like, I wish we could normalize allowing people to make the decision that is best for them in every situation. In every situation. Um, so, to everyone on here who is in a place where they have worked hard <laughs> to get to a place where they can try to be happy, emotionally stable, mentally stable, and trying to protect that as much as they can, um, kudos to you and keep it up. Kudos to you and keep it up. It's hard enough whenever you're trying to grow from being broken and heal from being broken. How dare anyone feel like they can tell you what you need to do to maintain that new level of peace or that, that new level of mental stability where you're able to be happy again and you're able to smile and you're able to skate around the roller skating rink, okay, and go backwards on them things and and do some spins. <laughs> oh, somebody said, oh my God, somebody said them kids loud. Let me tell y'all something. They're in a whole nother room with my first cousin, Jamila, is right here. Uh, she done drove up from down south. Jamila, what do I tell the children? What did I tell them? Stay up all night. Whatever break can be fixed. Have fun. <laughs> That's what I tell them. Literally, I walked in one of the rooms a minute ago, y'all. They had the lights off, two laptops playing, two different kinds of music. And I opened the door and some kids was jumping on the bed. It's about 10 of them. Well, no, because I got four myself, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about thirteen of them. Someone was jumping on the bed. Someone was, hey, hey, I opened the door. I look. I said, oh, hell no. I shut that door right on back. Listen, they said, hey, Jamila, listen. Hey. <laughs> listen, but she's right. I tell them, y'all come over here, have fun, run, play, do hide and go seek, whatever you want to do. Run, play, anything broken can be fixed or replaced, honey. I'm not finna stand over these kids trying to tell them they stay up long because they don't get to see each other often. You know what I'm saying? So have your fun. So they are allowed over there in the other room. <laughs> but um, no, so back to what I was saying, like, seriously, it's okay for you to make decisions that, um, thank you, Bob is Bobby. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it's okay for you to make decisions that allow you to still be in a place where you can smile, enjoy yourself, be at peace and be mentally and emotionally stable. And whatever type of boundaries that you have to put up for that, whichever way you're in, it's not, nothing's perfect, right? We all try. So whatever boundaries you're trying to put up to protect that, there's nothing wrong with it. And like I said, you'll never hear me telling anybody what they should or how you should. No, you should do what you feel you need to do because I don't know all that's going on. I don't know all that's taking place. And that's just what it is, okay? Um, but I hope y'all enjoy the show. Um, I did live tweet, so head over to Twitter, download Never Really Cared, put it on repeat, repeat while we sleep, y'all know that, um, put it on repeat, 7th Avenue, Mom 30 for 30% off, okay, um, but other than that, good night, <laughs> happy Saturday, um, I guess, uh, Jamila, we going to hear with these kids, we finna go in and see what they doing, oh, we should, hard. we can go spy. Hmm, sound good to me? Hmm. Huh, go spy. Let's see what they doing. Y'all hear them? Who they off the, off the chain? You are just a class act. Oh, thank you so much. Somebody said I purchased it on iTunes already. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all's support, y'all's love. We are charting right now. <laughs> we are charting. So let's continue to run it up. Post it. Put it on your story so that your people know that it's out. Um, and it was really one of those songs where I wanted to challenge myself vocally and really just show my range and my capabilities. Um, and so it was a lot of fun, um, recording never really cared. Um, it was, you know, it was just really cool. And hopefully you guys can feel the emotion in it as well. 
Um, but yeah, make sure y'all check it out. Okay. All right. I love y'all. Good night. So what are your thoughts about Martel showing up with his cousin and his aunt to other uninvited guests and what is your response to own keep it real making a joke about martel barging his way into the party i thank you guys for watching and listening and i'll talk to you in the next video